Well, behind me, this is the Umatilla Indian Reservation, and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm just completing a road trip, returning home to Portland today. I traveled from Las Vegas to Flagstaff, visited my daughter, dropped off her little fish, Jameson, he made it safely. Pretty well-traveled fish. He's been from Flagstaff to Portland by road, and now he returned by road, and he did really well. And then after that, I traveled north through Salt Lake City, Grand Tetons National Park, Yellowstone National Park, and um, I'm just always amazed at how beautiful our country is. Now this video may, by some, be considered a bit of a rant, and for that I apologize ahead of time, but I felt compelled to respond to a comment that was made on an earlier video that I posted the day before uh, about a new product that we're carrying in our AMP3 store, the uh, Life Straw. And I want to thank um, a longtime subscriber, uh, Stumpy, for uh, picking up the sword and going to battle for uh, my channel and, um, and defending AMP3 as well for a comment that another guy had posted. And well, I appreciate that. I appreciate the support. I don't remember the guy's comment specifically, but to paraphrase, he was complaining that the video represented blatant advertising on a free use community. I don't know what to say about that. Um, I, wish, I wish I could say that I was skilled or sophisticated enough to use YouTube as an advertising medium, and I'm not. If you look at the title of my channel, it's a slice of my life, and I, I'm not sure exactly how many videos, um, I, I, I think over 600 videos I've posted uh, showing all the different things that I'm interested in, and it's really just a little slice of what I like to do. And I've been very fortunate that my family um, has been gracious enough to allow me to include them in the videos because they are my life my kids and my wife. Um, but that said, this gentleman uh, was complaining that the video I posted on the Life Straw was blatant advertising on a free use community and this is the kind of person I think has no clue. There is absolutely nothing for free. The free content that he enjoys from his armchair on YouTube is at the bare minimum the expense of time and energy of the person who made, produced, and posted that video. And oftentimes, I would say almost exclusively, the video equipment is out of their own pocket. The YouTube community would not exist without people making those videos. And the companies, YouTube and Google, monetize these videos and make money off of the hard work of these people frequently with no reward. Now I want to make it perfectly clear. I'm not a YouTube partner. I generate no revenue from YouTube or Google for any videos that I post. All of the work on my channel is my hard work, my effort, my risk, my investment, my skin in the game. So when I saw that guy's comment, I took a quick look at his channel. And I've done this before in the past with uh, guys that make comments like that. And lo and behold, same as always, there is no video content posted on that person's channel. He has no risk, no effort, no work, no skin in the game. But yet he's got a big attitude and an opinion. I don't know what to do with those people. In real life, you would avoid them. You wouldn't give them the time of day. You'd nod your head, tip your hat, wish them good day, and then move along. In the cyberspace of YouTube, and I think they feel pretty comfortable with the amenity that uh, YouTube provides, and they can talk the way they do. I just avoid them. I don't give them the time of day. And a lot of them I just block, delete. 
And I probably did that this morning with a little bit too much emotion because I had smoke coming out of my ears. When I saw that, I thought of all the time and energy that myself, my wife, and my son Matthew have put into AMP3, the Austere Medical and Practical Preparedness Project. In fact, that company has generated from a small YouTube experiment that um, now we've been in business for a year and a half. We're shipping our kits all over the world, including the military and law enforcement. And I think we're doing a good job. Um, in fact, I know we are because my test of that is the fact that we have repeat customers and we've had some excellent feedback from those customers. I don't believe that a customer would give us repeat business if they didn't believe in what we were doing or feel like they were getting a good value. So that's my real test. And um, YouTube is not an advertisement for me. Um, AMP3 is a slice of my life. It's part of what I'm doing right now, as well as exploring the country, spending time with my family, and um, playing with the uh, amateur radio. So um, if anybody took that as blatant advertising, I apologize for that. My recommendation would be, and this is common sense, but um, folks like this need a little nudge in the direction of common sense and perhaps need a little friendly advice. If you don't like my channel, if you don't like what I'm saying, if you don't like my viewpoint, if you don't like the video content, please find other channels. There are millions of channels. I'm a little teeny dot on the YouTube community. Hardly worth noticing. So I would recommend you find another channel, find another sandbox to play in. Uh, for those of you that have been subscribing and supporting this channel, I thank you very much. Stumpy, thank you for defending my channel and uh, AMP3, I appreciate it. This person has no idea the hard work that we've put into AMP3. And I, when I read his comment, I literally had smoke coming out of my ears. I thought of my wife sitting at her desk, um, spending hours, email uh, communication with customers, answering questions. She, in fact, knows a lot of our customers by first name and has spoken to them on the phone. I think of all the hours that Matt and I have put into building kits and making sure that we get them out as quick as possible. I've built thousands of kits. And I want to let that person know I've made no money um, with uh, AMP3. Um, every penny has been reinvested in our company. And I think at the end of five years, if we've made a profit and I can write a small check to my wife and say thank you, um, and pull and pull some profit out of that company then we would have done well but I don't anticipate that happening for five years and who knows where we'll go in five years all I know is we're enjoying what we're doing I enjoy meeting people and talking about all the different things that we see and do on YouTube and um, I would say with the rare exception uh, this guy included and the few trolls that I've uh, run into on YouTube. I didn't even know what a troll was until until YouTube. Um, I still don't know what they are, except they're people that you probably in real life would just avoid. Um, the people that I've met online as well as in real life have been just universally outstanding uh, people. I've actually had people come up to me in the weirdest places. Um, for instance, Glacier National Park in the gift store. I had a gentleman tap me on the shoulder and say I know you from YouTube and sure enough super nice guy um, very nice family and kids we stood and chatted for a while and I thanked him for uh, for the support but um, almost always very nice people people that you want to shake their hand and say thank you and I'll close this by just saying thank you to everybody that supports our channel and um, weighs in on the comments. I have no problem with criticism, quite honestly. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, and I wish the YouTube environment allowed for broader discussion, but you really can't get into a debate with someone in the little text box and it's really not worth the effort. 
unless you do it face to face. And I think that's what gives these people strength is the fact that they have some amenity uh, via YouTube and um, they don't have to look you in the eye when they talk to you. So anyway, thanks guys. I apologize for the, uh, for the rant. Beautiful country. All right, guys, be safe.